Hello! So we've got a new Bounty Hunter dev blog for Old School RuneScape. So last week's Bounty Hunter dev blog, which you can see here, gave us a great amount of insight into what we want from Bounty Hunter, and the feedback gave them a good idea on how they should implement it. So this is a rundown of how they see Bounty Hunter fitting into Old School after hearing what we said. So the main points they picked up on are a reasonably overwhelming majority feel the mechanics of Bounty Hunter being implemented into existing PvP areas in some way would be more suited to old school rather than having an entirely separate minigame or worlds for it. Players would like to see mechanics available in the existing wilderness on set worlds, and players like the idea of a minimum risk in order to take part. So, with that in mind, how will this happen in old school? So the implementation of Bounty Hunter will be there will be four worlds that will have bounty hunter mechanics added to the wilderness. Three of these will be members worlds and one will be free to play. This leaves the existing PvP environments as they are while allowing people to come to bounty hunter worlds for slightly more different gameplay. Taking part in the bounty hunter activity is optional, however the wilderness on the bounty hunter worlds will have some restrictions such as minimum risk to be able to enter the wilderness. One of the main things of bounty hunter is being assigned a target. In order to be assigned a target, a player must pay 10k to an NPC in Edgeville. The player will be given a target on the same world as them, and within 10 levels combat. So entering the wilderness. In order to make sure the players that are being hunted are nice and rewarding, players will have to risk at least 50k ALK value in order to enter the wilderness on Bounty Hunter Worlds. And finally, we have killing your target. Once you've been assigned a player to take out, you will see an arrow on the minimap pointing to their location, for as long as they are in the wilderness. In addition to this, bounty hunters will be able to see a coloured skull above a target's head that gives an idea of how much they're risking. So a red skull will indicate a loss of money, whereas a green skull will indicate they're not risking much. Anyone willing to take on the challenge of hunting a player down will have access to the spell Teleport to Target, which will teleport them directly to the player they are tasked to kill. This would be a great way to surprise your target and catch them off guard. For every target that you kill, you will receive an added point to your bounty hunter rating. In future, they hope to release a Bounty Hunter rating section on the old school high scores. However, this will not be possible alongside the initial release of Bounty Hunter. So, we decide. The poll tomorrow will include a number of questions about Bounty Hunter. So, as usual, it's up to us to decide whether or not Bounty Hunter is something we wish to see in game. Now, personally, I'm not really a PK yet, and I can't really see why we want Bounty Hunter. But I like the idea of being assigned a target and needing a minimum value to go in and PK. So it's an interesting idea. I hope you like this video on the dev blog. Please like and subscribe. I've been Lewis. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.